All right. Area three. Now to area three. And when we enter Clown va Valley, here, dude. We'll fight I more dudes. Yeah. Sounds pretty terrible. Now they're using actually. rollout. I hope they. I swear they to fucking God, if they used defense code before that, we would have problems. They would, but uh, I guess they don't know it. And ow, we're also fighting assholes, clowns. Hi, man. Hi, man. I mean, it's it comes to mind when I think about pretend, you know, particularly prickish clowns. <laughs> Here, dude. Class one, right there. It's funny because it's true. Everybody hated him. Smell. You also got to see Magna Andromon, who was like so manly, it was ridiculous. <laughs> To the finish, missile! Yeah, I think you beat the missile. Yeah. You'd be good at Star Fox Command. Uh, I haven't I haven't even thought of touching command. I mean, there was assault and it's, assault was awesome, so It's uh it's yeah. I, I like it, I see why people don't like it. Because oh. like the game spams missiles. Oh god, so like spam. if Macross! There's always like uh, whenever you start a level, like there's uh, the Great Fox will be somewhere, and if an enemy touches the Great Fox, you get an instant game over. Oh, that's lame. And like scattered throughout the level, there'll be bases that fire missiles, and the missiles will travel, like won't do anything but travel for the Great Fox. And if they hit it, then you get a game over. And to fight the missile, you have to like. Ah, Fly through these. You have to fly through these rings. They get faster and faster. But you also have to shoot the missile down while you're flying through the rings. <laughs> and like, essentially, like if you fail, then the missile will fly past you, and it comes. It becomes pretty much impossible to get to it. So it's like all you have to do is miss one, and you instantly lose. And you can you can have to do this seven or eight times in one level. That is quite dickish. It is. I am missing something. We are going to scour this level because I am missing something. That is, unless you have Panther on your team. Because Panther is awesome, and he doesn't have shots, he has a giant laser that just continually fires. I don't know why, but he does. I blame Assault. I love that game, but I blame Assault. I, I like Panther. Panther's awesome. I think Panther's actually my favorite character in Star Fox in general. <laughs> I think he's I think he's a right douchebag. He's awesome. I love Panther. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just think he is. Alright, I got uh, my Panther's a cool bro. I got my skill. Let's get out of here. It's, and it's it's funny, which I, I don't think they will, but uh, if, if they go by... Uh, if there is a canon ending to Star Fox Command, because Star Fox Command has like 12 endings, I think. But uh, you have to play it normally <laughs> before, <laughs> can, before you can... Uh, make the choices essentially in order to get the other endings and the ending that, that the game makes you get first crystal leaves fox for panther at the end <laughs> so it's like it's like if, if there is a canon ending to star fox command then panther and crystal end up together <laughs> which is weird but it it happens is it command one of those games where slippy has a girlfriend yeah, <laughs> I think her name's like. I and I'm not kidding. There's an ending where like uh, like prematurely like Slippy uh like quits the team to just like start a family with with uh, I think her name's Amanda. <laughs> and they they have like twelve they have like twelve kids. What a bro! <laughs> this is Slippy we're talking about. What a bro! It's not just Cloud. <laughs> he's evil. Uh. Look at us, we're talking about so many different things. I love our mini-rail. I'm also not kidding. Uh, I love this game. I, I, I'm also not kidding. There's also an ending where, uh, where Fox and Falco quit the team and they go join F-Zero. Oh, dude! And, and I'm not kidding either. <laughs> that is registering in my head as what the fucking awesome at the same time. <laughs> Look at me. 
So, so I guess he's following in his father's footsteps after all. <laughs> no! You got Bruce Power! <laughs> I can't believe you never noticed that was the same guy from Mixers Makers. I know! That did the voice for the professor in Mixers Makers. He, he said the, you got Boost Power in F-Zero. It's the same guy. I was like, what the f***? <laughs> <laughs> Poison class. I don't like you. Ah, more lock your cloud. Go away. You're evil. Those darn evil clouds. Those clouds also remind me of the enemies from Soul Space Cemetery and Brawl. <laughs> Hate those clouds. All right, two more levels to go before you clear the first planet. Fog route. Our enemy here is draw distance. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Also, these guys have scooters. They remind me of the combine from uh, Half Life. Like, not even kidding. Uh, I can see that. Like, not even fucking I'm kidding. I'm actually kind of surprised you played Half Life. No, right? no, no, I didn't. I haven't played Half Life. I've seen an LP of Half Life 2, though. Eh, I like Half Life 2. I wasn't too crazy about the first one, but I like 2. I'm not exactly, like, you know, waiting for. Episode 3 to come out like everybody else is, but <laughs> I like Half-Life 2. Whee! These fall when you get near them. Ow. Like that. They remind me of the, um... Pokies from Mario 64. Yeah. They fall on you. Get close. And like, oh, look! Giant I they're gonna be for the ah, ah, I was about, ah. about to be like the, the cactus enemies from Mario 64. And Mom's like, and Black's like, dude, you fucking suck. So now that he steal your jet, now he's vandalizing property with it. Yeah. Darn, darn you, Black Bomber Man. You are a drain. You are the biggest worst ever. This is why this is why we don't let you be the villain anymore. <laughs> also, laser spikes. I thought those were only Mega Man X5, but one up. Eh, my, my memory of uh, Mega Man X5 and X6 is pretty foggy, so I played them, but I don't remember very much about them. Other than like the beginning levels and like Gates theme, and that's it. Like I, like everything else has been erased from my memory. So well, there are laser spikes in uh, when you fought Rang da Bang in X5. Was they probably out of some kind of like defense mechanism? I like to think. Oh, and then there's this asshole. He takes forever to fucking kill. He does. I did like the uh, the Super Nintendo X's though. I, I played all those. I've only played the first one. The the first one was the one that I played the most. That was the one that like me and me and my best friend were crazy about. We were really bad at it. <laughs> I hated I hated Sting Chameleon. I was so bad at fighting Sting Chameleon. And we're here. And we win. Oh yes, and wow, there's a lot of dropped frames going on here over my recording. Um, that's kind of bad. Hope that doesn't come out too badly. Mm, whatever. Yeah, you think, you think restarting it might help? Uh, we got one more boss. Don't worry. Yeah, we might as well. All right, now we've got to the last boss, the first boss, uh, Planet Bomber, Endel. Hi. Bomberman, is that you? How did you get here? You left the trail like a mile long, thanks to your ascot, bro. Princess Million, I've come <laughs> here to rescue you! His ascot's just like flowing in the wind miles and miles and miles away. What the fuck, giant catfish? Um, what? <laughs> Hello, little man. I am Endol. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't ask. You came here to rescue the princess? Yeah. I can't let you do that. I must stop you. Come at me, bro! Really? <laughs> Nitros, take a million with you. Oh, 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 you, oh, you asshole! Get back! <laughs> and then they fly away. What? Uh, oh, damn it! <laughs> this Endel guy looks tough! That, that laugh! Man is sad. That laugh! 
<laughs> Here it I, was, I guess that's me. Here it comes. Alright, first boss is I am giant catfish. Well, you basically gotta get a pattern going down if you want to beat him in a great time. Jump over the lightning rod he shoots out, and they alternate after every couple of seconds. So you want to be on the ball here. And you have to really be fast, because the score for this is kind of brutal. Ow. Oh, yeah. And you Most you of the boss times are hit. actually quite what brutal. Asshole. After enough hits, he comes down quite you like a man. Ow. Uh-oh. Ray might lose. I might lose! I didn't mention the boss game was awesome. Sona Bakana! Wow. And I missed my score. Fuck. Aww. I thought he had like a like an attack where he electrified the whole floor. That's and you had to jump. That's the next one. Aw. Okay. The princess is nearby. I can feel it. I said this line already. Hey Black Bomber Man, let your jet. She's on Primus Star. It's like reaffirming the obvious. You really are so really hard C3 3 okay? Yeah, honestly. Hey, it's... that's my ride! Get back here! <laughs> Got stolen once, not again. This is my ride! You're stealing it back. <laughs> and that is the end of the first world. And you are continuously graded. I missed one fucking point! So I get a silver medal. You get you get Aww. five you get five different ranks of medals. Blue, red, I forget which one comes first. Bronze, silver, and gold. Gold being the best. And after clearing the world for the first time, you get to go to the bonus stage. And would you just collect crystals and junk? Yeah. Is this score matter for this? No. It's basically a timer. Play. Yeah. I was saying I, I didn't think it went into your, your grades or anything. This one's pretty easy. Perfect. Yay. And that was pretty we reached Primus Star. But we're all saving that because I need to uh, make sure this recording is not is not sucking, so Yep. So I guess we'll see you guys later. Bye bye. Bye guys.